What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Sunday, April 30th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a nine game MLB slate tonight. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. So I like this pick, he is a stud pick, but I'm gonna pay up for him. I found some good value on this slate. So I like Sony Gray and he's pitching against a low salary batting team, the Kansas City Royals. Sony Gray only giving up a .545 OPS versus lefties and a .516 OPS versus righties, facing six lefties and three righties. On top of that, the Royals have only hit 17 of his last 84 pitches. That's a 202 batting average. Sony Gray is 11,500 FanDuel salary, 1,100 less on DraftKings, averaging 42 fantasy points per game on the season. He has an ERA of 0.62, record is six, uh, 3-0, pitching an average of 93 pitches per game. So I like this pick because also Vegas thinks this is going to be a low scoring game. Only 7.5 runs in this game. That's their over under. So I like Sony Gray here versus the Kansas City Royals. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. Here's a value play. I like William Contreras with a 53% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Jose Sores. William Contreras batting 28% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .985 OPS versus lefties. Jose Sores pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, 24% worse than his other pitches, giving up a 1.263 OPS versus righties. So the splits here are fantastic. And William Contreras, only 3,000 FanDuel salary, 700 more on DraftKings, averaging eight fantasy points per game on the season, but he scored fantasy points in all five of his last games, a nine, a 20, a 19, or a nine, a 22, and a 19. Some big numbers out of those five. Other games were sixes. And he's got a batting average of 307, so he's been on fire. Price is right for this matchup. Vegas thinks there's going to be 9.5 runs scored in this game. So I like William Contreras here versus Jose Sores. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Brandon Drury. And he's got a 32% batting advantage over Colin Ray and Aria, Colin Rhea. And Brandon Drury batting a .800 OPS versus righty pitchers. Colin Rhea, he's uh, giving up a .808 OPS versus righty batters. And Brandon Drury is already two for three here versus Rhea. He had a double and a home run. So he has a 2.667 OPS. He's 3,200 FanDuel salary, 800 more on DraftKings, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. Scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. So one was a three, but outside of that, 22, 35, and 38. 
That is fantastic. So he's got some major upside with a batting average of 244. So I like Brandon Drury here versus Colin Rhea. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. So I have a stud pick for you here. I like Matt Chapman with a 55% batting advantage over Marco Gonzalez. Matt Chapman batting 27% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a 1.382 OPS versus lefties. Marco Gonzalez pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, giving up a 0.851 OPS versus righties. And Matt Chapman is 14 for 37. It's a 378 batting average and a 1.017 OPS versus Gonzalez. He's got a home run, a triple, four doubles. That's a huge sample size. He's 4,200 FanDuel salary, 1,200 more on DraftKings, averaging 14 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. Looks like his floor is like a nine or a 10 out of those last five. He has a batting average of 372. So one of my favorite stud picks on the slate, I like Matt Chapman here versus Marco Gonzalez. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the shortstop position. Here's a value play. I like Gunnar Henderson with a 48% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Spencer Turnbull. Gunnar Henderson batting 39% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .761 OPS versus righties. Spencer Turnbull giving up a .829 OPS versus lefties. Now there's no at-bats versus Turnbull yet, but Gunnar Henderson, only 2,600 FanDuel salary, 1,100 more on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. He uh, has a batting average of 200, but he did score nine, three, and 22 fantasy points in the last three games. And the splits are good here, so he's not good versus lefty pitchers. That's gonna pull his batting average way down, but it does look like he can hold his own here versus righty pitchers. So I think he's a good value play in a slate that there's some good studs. So I like Gunnar Henderson here versus Spencer Turnbull. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. Home run hitter on the slate, Mike Trout in a good spot here versus Colin Rhea. But if you're looking to save some salary here, well, you got Joey Gallo. Uh, he's got a 22% batting advantage over Brady Singer. Joey Gallo batting 27% better versus righty pitchers, batting a 1.191 OPS versus righties. Brady Singer, uh, pitching, giving up a .911 OPS versus lefties. So his worst pitch is to righties, but not much better versus lefties. And Joey Gallo is three for six here versus Singer with a 1.727 OPS. One of those three hits is a home run. He's 3,500 FanDuel salary, 900 more on DraftKings, averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season has a batting average of 245. So I like Joey Gallo here versus Brady Singer. If you wanna try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups 
using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this MLB slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.